So for today, we're going to be looking at the playlist armor. Now, if you guys don't know, we did get new playlist armor for all of the playlists, which is really, really cool. Unfortunately, for those of you who know the playlist from previous seasons, you guys will recognize this armor. It is very similar to an armor set that we've already got. To be fair, it's not like a one to one. It's more of a like the spirit of that armor. I can definitely see, especially like in the boots for some classes. So I'm not saying the armor is bad by any means. I think this armor is amazing, like legitimately some pieces here are my favorite pieces for just a lot of things. You guys will notice what I'm talking about because I do think it's very apparent for those, especially for those who have been following my content for a while, but we're going to be looking at different sets. So I did not collect all of the playlist armor for all of the classes. More specifically, the hunters ended up getting the crucible variant. The Titans ended up getting the gambit variant and then the warlocks get, got the uh, uh, vanguard variant. The, that's the way I decided to do it because if I did it the old-fashioned way where I was getting all of the armor It would have taken way too long and honestly The armor is not different for those of you who know This armor is not different at all the vanguard variant the crucible variant and the gambit variant are literally the same armor Just different decals so that's why I decided to do it because I really did not want to go and collect all of the armor for this because honestly not only am I just gonna get this casually for the for the crucible and gambit variants the vanguard variant is the variant i'm going to be going for for all the classes because it's the best one when it comes to shadering so if you guys like the video like comment subscribe it really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed and i know i say this a lot but like please subscribe it really does help um especially if you like the content because i post a lot of this like this isn't even the last armor video we're doing this season or this episode we still well actually it might be because i don't think we're getting the uh the anniversary event this episode i think it's next episode. either way i post a lot of fashion content so if you guys like the video again like comment subscribe i appreciate y'all um i will be heading to unknown waters which essentially just means i'm going to be posting other games fashion as well uh, I'm working on the Final Fantasy 14 video as we speak, so that's going to be probably the next one I'm going to be doing, and then maybe World of Warcraft, and then finally Warframe, because Warframe, I have a lot to talk about Warframe. Warf Warframe is a dope game when it comes to fashion, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, let's just get into it. So again, the first one is going to be Crimson Plume. This is the Crucible variant for how to get this available during episodes Echo, or episode Echoes as the new playlist sets that drops from Gambit, Crucible, and or Vanguard. In the future, it will be available to buy from their respective vendors. So what I mean by this is during episode Echoes, you are able to just get the armor by playing that activity. Now, the way I ended up getting it was every time I got a engram, I would just go immediately. Well, like a lot of engrams, not just one. You could do it with one, but why would you? Uh, like minimum five, even though your luck might not be that good. <laughs> yeah. So I would do it like with like 10 or 20 and then go to the to the respective playlist and then just turn it in because you can you can actually acquire it through that. You don't have to play the activity. If you have a lot of engrams, just go to shacks and just turn them all in. You'll eventually get all the armor. That's literally how I did it. So that's what I ended up doing um, for in the future. If you guys are looking this like way after Echoes is done then you should be able to just buy the armor outright with the with an engram you don't have to um you don't have to do the random engrams you should be able to just go to his armor selection and just grab the armor you want um that's how it should do will it be i don't know we'll see but yeah for the armor i really like this armor helmet is really cool i think the cloak is really cool the arms i think are terrible in the sense that i wish we had gotten a symmetrical set because i think the armor on the right side would have been so cool on the left side um i won't it's like it it's not the worst one ever like i've seen worse asymmetrical pieces it's just like once you see the titans you'll understand why i'm like fuck like we just missed a good opportunity to have some good arms but yeah, arms, I, I would still say they're cool. Chest piece, my favorite piece by far. Like, it's not even close. The chest piece is the best piece. Boots, I think, are the worst piece in my opinion. There is no armor, which is really weird. And it just looks like pants. <laughs> yeah, like, especially since, like, chest piece and the... Specifically, the chest piece is going for, like, really... Well, I guess, like, this one more looks like, like, an officer. Like, like a legit, like, officer. So, I guess it's, like, okay. But... 
Needless to say, the Vanguard set's just going to be way cooler because you will not have the Phoenix with the swords on the side, specifically the left, right side. Um, because it connects to the what is it the chest piece and the boots and not so much the arms so i think the arms are okay for that but the chest piece is the best piece so that's why i say the vanguard sets just gonna be way better so let me know what you guys think i definitely really like this set but when it comes to shadering that's when i get really really annoyed because again here's the shadering um it's just the fact that you can see that insignia and i really don't like that because i really just want to use this for with other pieces that shade her well i don't want to like for example i don't want to use a chess piece and then find out that oh yeah the, the stupid phoenix is right there so it's like messing the whole thing up so yeah shader wise it's not like the worst thing in the world but it's definitely not like the best thing in the world there's definitely like annoyances here and there where it's just like i wish it didn't do this but it's it's the crucible one what can you do so let me know what you guys think about how it shaders as for the next set, it is the Poison Promise set, which is the Gambit variant. Now, this one is weird because, like, if you just ignore the snakes, um, I think the set's pretty cool. I think the helmet is pretty cool. It just reminds me of a previous playlist helmet, which is just annoying because it just feels like the same helmet. Um, and it again, it's the same problem as the Hunters, where it's like I can see the spirit of that armor in this. Not saying it's a one to one again. It's just i can see pieces where it's like okay like clearly the helmet is a good example like clearly you got inspiration or you were just like i don't want to do anything new so i'm just gonna get some pieces from the older set and just make this um but yeah the helmet's kind of annoying the chest piece i actually think is really really cool um the arms i actually think are really really cool and the boots and the no the boots are probably the worst piece in my opinion it's just too much cloth when the top is so armored up so that's like my big issue is i feel like the thighs should have had some armor and a cup for your groin that would have been better just so that way it could be just be like go like leaning more into that like armor fantasy because the boots are just it's way too unarmored like this is my biggest issue when it comes to armor in just fantasy uh, because most of the time there's going to be a piece that just isn't armored and like why would you not armor this like the perfect example is 40k 40k has a lot of soldiers that don't or space marines that have like no helmets and i'm like why like why are you <laughs> why don't you have a helmet on so it's like the same concept of like why don't you have thigh armor like you have armor literally almost everywhere if not everywhere just not on the thighs what the fuck so yeah i think the mark is pretty cool um when it comes to shadering because it's a gambit variant you guys will notice that it's just annoying there's a lot of snake pieces into this one the arm actually all of it if not all of it because the uh the mark also has a snake in there as well it's not as bad as everything else because the snake really just coils up to every piece which is kind of annoying some people might say oh that's really cool as a set but again you guys have to remember that i don't view armor sets as a set i view them as pieces to be utilized so yeah, it's cool as a set, but I don't really care for them as sets. I care for them as pieces, as individual pieces, so that way I can use in a grander scheme, so to speak. So, yeah, as individual pieces, these suck ass. But as a, as a whole, this is pretty cool. But again, I don't really care about that. So let me know what you guys think about the shader. And then last but not least, we have the Wall Watcher vanguard variant this one is really cool because again you're not gonna notice any snake any fucking phoenix nothing like that it legitimately just is the vanguard logo on the right side specifically on top of that pocket and that's it that really is it i, I really think bungie should go ahead and just start doing armor like this for vanguard because it's more <sighs> It's more believable for Vanguard because I don't I don't feel like Vanguard having the Vanguard logo on one side is just like realistic when it comes to like because Vanguard's supposed to be like more militaristic armor. <clears throat> and for me, militaristic armor just makes more sense when it's not like super flashy because that's not that's not like tactical in it or anything. Like, why are you doing that? <laughs> you're if anything, you're plastering a like uh, a target on yourself so simplistic works works way better with vanguard in my opinion like of the vanguard logo there just it hits the point like okay this is vanguard and it also just helps us a lot because then it just means we can use it to our full extent because it shaders really well so this one i think is really cool for the helmet i think the helmet is really cool i went with some cool sets for the helmet because again i actually really like the helmet chest piece i think is super dope as well the arms are super dope the i think the only bad piece from this is the bond everything else i think is legitimately a dub like even the boots are really cool so yeah legitimately warlocks i think you guys ended up winning 
just because four out of the five are really good the one is just like it's it's a bond like you guys usually get pretty terrible bonds so it's not even like oh no it's more of a like yeah i get it uh but yeah like the hunters i think it was what did i say three out of the five are good for the titans it was, i think it was three out of the five so like warlocks definitely you guys ended up winning for the shadering again shadering is going to look really really good just because you're not going to see any stupid decal like hell even the vanguard logo on top of the pocket you can barely see it sometimes so yeah this is going to be the best the best shadering for the playlist armor and not just the warlocks titans and hunters definitely go get the vanguard variant because it's way better and honestly the vanguard variant wouldn't even be that hard to get all you have to do is play strikes or if you want you can do some nightfalls or if you want you can do some grandmasters or if you want i think onslaught also counts so you can do all of those things and i would actually just tell you do like just run a bunch of grand masters because that way you can actually get a lot of cool currency or good weapons so i think that'd be better because gambit and crucible unfortunately don't really have anything worthwhile to get at least for me personally because at least you're getting adept weapons from grandmasters at least you're getting more currency at least you're getting more exotics so there's it's just overall vanguard is just way better for that so yeah let me know what you guys think i personally really do think that the best thing to get here is just the vanguard variants get the vanguard variants you're not going to be disappointed because once you get the vanguard variants then it really opens up to just what am i going to do with this armor specifically like the titans the titans arms i have the vanguard variant and i have been having so much fun with it it's not even funny chess piece as well like hunters i've ended up using your chess piece the arms like the example sets that i made are super dope so it's like I can't I can only imagine how these would look with the Vanguard variant. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate y'all. Be safe. I'll see you guys later.